Hi, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to talk about what is the most effective painkiller for back pain. But first of all, uh, this is my bathroom and you can see here my bathroom cabinet. So it's hidden away behind a load of plants and I'm going to do a little plant tour later on for all you plant lovers. I'll show you what plants I've got growing uh, in my bathroom. But let's talk about back pain. So when we get back pain, one of the things that many of us think is what medication is going to be most helpful to try and reduce uh, the pain. So we'll often have a look in the bathroom cabinet uh, and see all sorts of possibilities. And we wonder, which is the most effective uh, painkiller to help get rid of my back pain? Is there any research that might help guide me in choosing uh, a medication to help me? Well, as a matter of fact, uh, there is some research that's just come out in the last week in the British Medical Journal, uh, a big study comparing the effectiveness and safety of different types of medication for non-specific low back pain. Now, this is important, this non-specific label. I'll tell you why a little bit later in the video. Uh, it's quite crucial to the, the outcome of the study. The study is a meta-analysis, uh, pulling data from 98 different trials, uh, looking at uh, 15,000 patients. It's a really powerful study, a huge piece of work, and it compares uh, anti-inflammatory medication with paracetamol and opioid medication, uh, anti-convulsants and muscle relaxants and steroids. So what was the outcome? Which medication does work best for low back pain? Well, from the study, they couldn't really say. It wasn't at all clear. Uh, they couldn't choose uh, one medication over uh, another in terms of both efficacy uh, and safety. So why is that, do you think? It's a huge study. Surely that would show something. Well, uh, do you remember this bit, the non-specific uh, low back pain? I think that's what's crucial uh, to the outcome of this study because um, the assumption is that non-specific low back pain is a single condition. But the reality is, I think, uh, that uh, non-specific low back pain is a collection of different conditions all given the same label because the patients haven't been completely examined and the cause of their back pain really hasn't been found. So low back pain has many different causes. This lady uh, thinks she's hurt her uh, back by straining a muscle uh, in the gym. Uh, someone else might have back pain from a lumbar disc injury. Someone else might have back pain because they've got urinary tract uh, problems. Another patient might have back pain because they've got a hip problem. So uh, no single treatment is going to help all of these different causes of course, and I think that was the, the issue. And I think that what we need to do is establish what's causing the patient's pain. And really, that's our job as chiropractors is to find out why the patient uh, has back pain. As, and as clinicians, we have to consider all sorts of possible causes from kidney stones to spinal fractures to functional problems of the spine. So what have we learned from this? Well, the research paper suggests that there is no single medication that is the most effective for uh, low back pain. Many medications, unfortunately, have side effects, so it's hard to choose one medication over uh, another. So sorry about that. Thanks to the authors of the paper, though, it was a really impressive uh, piece of work. In the meantime, the guidelines written in 2016 by the National Institute for uh, Health and Care, excellent, nice, suggest that people with back pain should keep active, they should do some exercises, and they should consider having some manual therapy. Thanks for watching so far. If what you're really after is the plant tour, here we go. This is my favourite plant, the fern, the Asplenium parvati. He drinks a glass of water every day and likes to be sprayed with water too. He likes a really uh, moist environment. He's a greedy thing. This is the Strelitzia nicolai. I'm hoping he'll grow uh, gradually into a large feature plant and take over the bathroom. The Chinese fan palm is uh, quite dramatic. Uh, he came from B&M actually. They do some nice uh, nice plants at a good price. Uh, Canna, he's, uh, he's good. Canna's really uh, lovely. They die down in the winter, of course, and uh, uh, come up again um, during the spring and the summer. So he's uh, 
uh, bursting into life and looking good. And there's a an ivy as well that I have sort of trailing uh, around the sink. Looks uh, looks quite nice. And every bathroom I think should have a spider plant. Um, normally they look awful because we neglect them, but um, I'm trying to look after this one in its macrame hanger very 1970s style. This beautiful tree grows just outside our clinic, of course. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.